How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to this week's Dragon Faber release video and for today's video, let's see what we have here. Alright, so we have the continuation of the Six Hero Saga. It's been quite a while since we last had this saga. Okay, I can't remember the last time where we had it. I think it was like what? Uh, definitely more than a few months ago. Yeah, probably more than half a year ago. Was it even a year? I don't know, but it seems like a really really long time since we last had uh, this saga. Last time in the Six Hero storyline, you and Felwyn managed to escape the burning forest only to stumble into the machinations of the Callous Lysander. Oh yes, they introduced a new villain called Lysander but I haven't really seen or heard much of him afterwards so yeah, I'm quite interested and excited to see if we'll see more of him. But something seems off. <sniffs> Talk to Ash in... okay, a little typo here. <clears throat> Book 3 Falcon Reach to continue the 6 Hero storyline. Also this week we have a number of new customization options for Pirate and the introduction of hotkeys. Check out the DNs for all the info. Alright, so there is also hotkeys here and I'll try to showcase it inside of the quest uh, as we are doing it. So what exactly are hotkeys and why did it suddenly come into the game out of nowhere? Alright, so with the introduction of the Malerus uh, War finale last uh, a few weeks back, okay, a lot of people have been asking for hotkeys on the forums, on the Reddit, on the Discord. I don't know why, like, all of a sudden people are like, can we have hotkeys? Can we have hotkeys? Like, I, it, it just literally came out of nowhere. I guess it's probably to counter the Dance Dance Revolution mechanic because people were getting tired of moving back and forth, back and forth, that sort of thing. I, I don't really know, but uh, the staff did say that it will be a little bit difficult to implement because of uh, the game's limitations as well as Flash's limitations and all that. But the amazing staff has once again delivered and now we have hotkeys inside of the game. So I'm not using my mouse to click here. Look, my mouse is still in one spot. I am using my arrow keys to move the character. Look at that. And there are also a bunch of other hotkeys. I can't really remember what exactly. You, uh, let me just go ahead and check out the design notes. Alright. <clears throat> uh, this one. J-I-H. Okay, so let's test it out. Okay, so I'm going to press J to open the Book of Law. Yes, it works. And you can press Escape to go back. H to open the Dragon Amulet inf interface. Very nice. Escape. And then I can press I to open up my inventory. Okay, I can't... Oh, okay. Yeah, I... I there's no hotkeys inside of the inventory or inside of here. Can I like press enter or something to summon? Nope. Okay, nothing of the sort. So yeah, it's basically just to open it up. Uh, what about for the Book of Law? Let's see here. Nope, nothing. Okay, so yeah, it's just for opening up the interfaces. Okay, you can also use WASD to move your character around, same as your arrow keys. Uh, works brilliantly. Okay, you can go use it to go from screen to screen. That's quite nice. <coughs> Pressing escape will also close a variety of other interfaces. Okay, quests and towns you're able to use to move your character. Battle! Okay, we'll check this out later on. Let's head on over to Ash and let's do the newer Six Heroes quest. Anomaly. Okay, let's see what we have here. Is that really what happened? You are not safe. Type help for a list of commands. Please note you are not able to type in full screen. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's one of those typing quests again. I'm not really sure what to do here. Look, examine something. Go, goes in direction. Take, tries to take an item. Use, tries to use an item. Inventory lists your items, quit, give up. Alright, uh, let's see, let's try, let's start with look obviously. Find yourself in a dark room, there is a table and chair nearby, there is a window to your right. Okay, let's see if we can smash it, smash the window. There's a uh, take table. Oops, I think caps won't do anything. Okay, use table. Something, someone, something else is using the table. Oh, okay, that's weird. Uh, take chair. Refuses to budge. Okay. So there's someone sitting in the chair. Inventory. What do we have? You don't have anything, huh? Can I go up? No, I can't go up. Let me let me see again. Let's type help again. Okay. Uh, <coughs> look table. I know wooden table. There's an unlit lantern on top. Okay. Look, chair. Who is sitting in the chair? Empty wooden chair. Now it says empty. 
Okay, take chair or use chair. It says the chair is empty, but now it says there's someone sitting in the chair. Okay, take lantern. Use lantern. See more if you take a look. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Look. Ah, okay. Find yourself in a dark room. There is a table and chair nearby. There is a window nearby to your right. Take window. <laughs> this makes no sense. Uh, the window cannot be taken. Try something else. Use window. Securely locked. Okay, you can't escape. There's an entity standing in the corner. Your back is sitting on the floor. The door to the cellar is on your left. Look entity. Hurts to look at it. Take entity. I'm here. Use entity. Every fiber of your being tells you not to interact with the entity. Are you sure? Yes. What? No. Okay. Uh, use entity again. Look behind you. Press enter to continue. Okay. So what? Use the entity then. Uh, okay. Okay, so what? You restart if you use the entity? Uh, okay, fine. Uh, look table. Again. Take lantern. Use lantern. Uh, look. Go left. Wait, hold on. What's the command for move? Uh, let's see here. List your items. Oh, go left. Okay. Wait. You can't do that here. Why not? Hold on. Huh. Go cellar? You dare not venture in without a weapon. Okay. Right. No weapon, huh? You have a lit lantern. What do I do with the lantern? Go... Right. Huh. <clears throat> Examine goes in direction. Go up. Go down. Go right. Okay, I can't go to the cellar without a weapon. All I have is a freaking use window again. Look window. Okay, something is moving outside. So what? Use seller. Look seller. Use seller. The dead call to you. Be careful not to call back. Call. Call back. Call seller. You can't call seller. Okay. Not to call back. Call dead. The day are stirring, you are warned. Press enter to continue. Okay, nice. Let's see what we have here. Is that really what happened? Oh, come on again? Really? God damn it. Do we have the lantern? No. Take lantern. Uh, use lantern. What, what else can we do here? Bag is sitting on the floor. Take bag. Oh yeah, I forgot about the bag, huh? You can't reach your bag. Try again. Refuses to cooperate. Keep trying. Okay. Hey, wait. Typo. A hand grabs the bag for you. You now have your bag. Finally, what do you have inside the bag? Look bag. The bag you brought on all your adventures. Yay! So now I guess we have our equipment. So go seller. You dare not venture in without a weapon. Still no weapon. Look back. Use back. A crossbow is inside. Nice. Take crossbow. Yay. Okay, I figured it out. Go cellar. Enter the depths of the cellar. There is no turning back. Okay. Go cellar. It's where you are. Look. There's a body on the floor. It lies at the foot of a black monolith. Okay. Look body. Body is missing its limbs. Yikes. Use body. <laughs> you have nothing to do with the body, of course. Look, monolith. Ancient structure that predates an eternity. Uh, 
Use monolith. It doesn't seem like there's any other way up. Time to go. Okay. Ah, finally. What do we have here? What's going on? What is this place? By the way, I have no idea exactly what to do and I did not look at any spoilers beforehand so yeah, I'm just doing this, uh, how do you call it? Going in blind. Yikes. Oof. Uh. You. What do you do? Do I know you? You literally just burned down a whole forest. Of course you. Oh boy. Oh, the hand disappeared. I'm afraid you're mistaken. This is our first meeting. It seems you have company. Oh my god. Know what that looks like? That looks like a gawk. Yeah, that looks like a gawk. From AQ. Classic. Ooh, and what is this? Who is this? Hold on. Is this Faust's wife? Wait, who is, who is this again? Looks like an elf, based off the years. Or is that Lysander's wife? Is this person related to Lysander? Okay. Right. The gears of fate are turning. There's no going back. The Fairwind hero has awakened. Fairwind's snack. Snack pack. Okay, full of snacks and a lovingly crafted meal to boost your endurance. Look, it's just as important as your regular bag. Okay. Endurance plus two. Alright, I guess we'll keep that. Let's see here. What? Endurance plus two. Not even a freaking... Yeah, it's not even... Uh, what do you call that? DC tag. I'm not going to let it take up a space. There's no reason to get that. Huh, alright. So I didn't really know what's going on in that quest. Maybe there's more things unexplored. Uh, you guys can let me know down in the comments below if I missed out anything. Or maybe I'll release a video later on if I discover anything else. But yeah, that that's pretty much it, I guess. I'm sure there's some other ways out or doing by doing something else inside of the quest. I It's still pretty early. Okay, I think the release has been out for less than 2 hours. So probably people are still... Figuring out what you can do, what you cannot do and all that. I will get back a little bit later uh, with new stuff. If I find out any new stuff or if there's like some hidden reward shop or something like that. Otherwise, let's go ahead and check out the other hotkeys. I'm going to use uh, the hotkeys to move around now. So we'll go for quests. Let's go for a challenge. Let's test that out on Dr. Vota Boat. So we are going to go up here. Okay, so it seems you can't interact with objects using the hotkeys. Okay, you can't interact with objects inside of hockey. So let's see here. Uh, N will use a health potion. M will use a mana potion. B will use a trinket skill. Okay, let's test it out. Let's do health potion. N. Okay, works. Oh yeah, I have pet actions turned off. That's fine. Let's do M for health potion. Okay, that works. Wait, wait a minute. Why did it say health healed again? Ah, oh wait, no, that's from the baby dragon. Silly me. Okay, let's do B for trinket skill. Okay, that works. Yep, uh, let's see here. Left to right. Z, X, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, space, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, C, B. Okay. Right. So, okay, I'm going to use a crappier weapon here so we don't kill it immediately. So let's do Z. Should be our multi, yep. X should be the stun. <coughs> yep. Working as intended. C should be slice. Wait. Oh, wait, hold on. Z is gun. Whoops. Let's do V. V is hack. Yeah, yeah. Okay, little little weird here. Gotta get some used to. So it's ZX, then it breaks it up into the numbers, and then you go back to CV. Okay. One should be slice. Two is laser. Okay. <coughs> okay, baby dragon is doing a bit too much damage. Uh, let's unequip the baby dragon. Uh, let's see. Three should be fade, right? Okay. Four is boost. Oh. 
Okay, okay. Five is boost. Requires a boost to be used first. Okay, and then we can attack with spacebar. Alright. That works. What happens if you try to do something that's on cooldown? See, if I press two here. Two turns of cooldown remaining. Yep, okay, works. Okay, let's go with six. Should be hex. And then we can go with seven. Seven should be ultra. Nope. Oh, first turn of a time shift. Okay, eight. Overdrive. Seven ultra hex. Nine should be. Let's see here. Nine is combo. And then zero is pierce. Yeah, okay, I think everything works fine. Uh, works perfectly well. Honestly, if you ask me personally, I don't really see this as... Like, it's a uh, definite nice to have, but I don't think this is a must-have. A lot of people have been asking for it. They said they uh, really want it or really like it uh, for some weird reason, and they said it will help with their gameplay and all that. For me personally, I don't think it helps out that much or really improves quality of life that much. But again, this is just my own personal opinion because this is not like those mobile style games whereby... Uh, this is not like AQ Worlds basically, whereby you can keep spamming the skills, you know what I mean? Those games, yes, I agree, hotkeys really really helpful. But for a single player RPG like Dragon Fable... Uh, I would say it doesn't really do much since you can do everything with a mouse. You won't be spamming the same skill over and over again and then, you know, just repeatedly tap, 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 tapping on that same skill since, you know, uh, you do have turn cooldowns instead of time-based cooldowns, you know. So, yeah, I find that it's not that useful in a game like Dragon Fable. But again, this is just my opinion and since many people ask for it, I guess many people want it to be inside the game. So, of course, this is a nice to have and... Uh, at least from my very short amount of testing right now, I don't really see any bugs or issues. So yeah, I guess it's good that they've added it to the game. We don't really lose out in terms of anything here. The game is not lagging or anything, or at least now I think the game is working perfectly fine. So yeah, I guess that's nice. Maybe next time in Questus, you can just, you know, use the keyboard instead of using a mouse. Or maybe say you don't have a mouse for whatever reason, at least you can still use the keyboard to play the game, I guess. Uh, alright, certain quests will not allow the use of hotkeys, that's understandable, maybe like the recent quest that we just went through, can turn hotkeys off or on in the options menu, oh nice, we don't have a toggle for the options menu do we? No we don't, okay yeah, how come there is a toggle for inventory, dragon amulet interface and book of law but no toggle option for options? Maybe they still haven't added that in. Would be nice to add that in. Oh, and a toggle option for character pages as well. That'll be nice. No, not character pages, sorry. Uh, this this page. I don't know what in the world this page is called. Yeah, I think it'll be nice to add those two as well. It's probably just mapping two more keys. Not too difficult. Since they've already done most of it. Uh, wait, wait, where is the hotkey options again? Okay, let's turn this back on. Oh uh, yeah, here. Keyboard controls. Alright, so this is where it is. This is still a pretty new system, so please let us know if you run into any issues or problems. Alright, so far no problems for me. Apart from the fact that you can't interact with objects like the button, I don't know if that uh, from the Volta Boat Challenge. I don't know if this is intended or not, but yeah, just keep in mind that it's not working. Also this week introducing pirate customization options. Very nice, new base look called the Swap. Ooh, we also have the previous base look as Matey, available once you com once your complete pirate training. Typo here. Uh, navigator hat is now used to unlock navigator customization. That's nice. Have the new Marauder Pirate customization requires the Marauder Pirate Catalyst available in the Book of Law for 500 DCs. Coming soon, we also include Jet Pirate and Color Custom Customizable Swap. And that's a lot for this week. Nice. Yeah, that's really a lot for this week considering that they are a two man, sometimes three man team. Uh, Jet Pirate. Okay, so Jet Pirate is not available yet. Let us go ahead and buy this. Oh, wait. There's new weapons. A vessel. Ooh, okay. Let's check it out. Wow. Wow, wow. This reminds me of the... Yeah, this... The design looks very similar to another weapon. What, what is that called? I don't know. Maybe it's just a color scheme. A band of pirates devout to nature armed themselves with these blessed weapons before embarking on their final voyage about their ship. The Earth Vessel. They are gone now, but their weapons remain. So I'm not seeing any... 
specials or what not water plus 15 Ooh, is this the new best in slot for water resist i think it is bpd 11 crit 15 endurance 12 luck 12 strength 15 bonus 15 should we get this i don't know man if people get this then maybe i'll get this otherwise i think i might save my dragon coins for now uh in terms of looks i would say it looks not bad yeah it looks not bad the staff looks a little bit weird since it's a harpoon instead of a staff Dagger, uh, I think it looks decent as well, but I think my favorite has to be the Rapier. And this one is, yeah, so it's not a scythe, which means all their main stats are different. So we want to keep that in mind. 90 to 102 Earth. What's the best install Earth weapon again? I think it's Jade Cleaver of the Lone Tree from here, right? Too lazy to put it out of my bank, so let me just go here and check. Uh, I think this should be the strong, the best install Earth weapon now. Correct me if I'm wrong. 86 to 110 <coughs> Yeah, this is definitely a better earth weapon So uh, you don't really need to buy this if you don't want to If you like it for the artwork, you can buy that Okay, let's go ahead and Okay, so for some weird reason The pirate uh, catalyst isn't here I think it should be here, right? Let's see here uh, Customization catalysts Marauder pirate catalyst Alright, so this is where you can find it 500 DCs, let's go ahead and buy that and let me go ahead and chuck it in the bank first before I forget so it doesn't waste up a slot of mine. Yeah, technically I'm going to the bank already. Sure, I just pulled out Jake Cleaver just now, but no, never mind. Okay, so it's DA tech, which DA tech. Okay, I thought it would be DC tech. So apparently, huh? So so what? Non DA? Oh yeah, all oh, these are DA tech. I didn't realize. So you need a DA in order to use them, even though they cost dragon coins. I would have preferred it to be DC tech, honestly speaking. So at least, you know, people who don't have a DA and want to spend DCs on the game can still use it. But I guess it's not a big deal, and it's only really a small handful of uh, people who have bought DCs but haven't bought the DA. But yeah, okay. Now let's go ahead and check it out. So we'll equip our pirate armor first. Well, I should pull out the navigator's hat too, right? Wait, I probably don't need it. Uh, okay, Pirate and Jet Pirate is still here. So they haven't merged the two yet. So that's fine. This is the matey look. Okay, so let's go to armor customization. Let's see what we have here. Coming soon. Okay. Navigator. Matey. Oh, Navigator. Oh, whoa, this looks really nice, man. Almost makes me look like a pirate captain of sorts. Color scheme a bit weird. I think this is not color customizable. Yeah, because my trim and base is black black and red, so I don't think this is color customizable, unfortunately. Navigator, Uh, this color scheme, I don't know how I feel about it. It's like skin tone color. Um... I'm on the fence about this one. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think of this color scheme? I don't know if I like it or I hate it. Okay, I mean, the design is really cool. It's just the color. Like, I, I think the color, if they made it color customizable, that would be amazing. Marauder. Okay, so Marauder is the color customizable one. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Marauder. Absolutely amazing, guys. Yeah. Oh man, hands down, Marauder is probably the best one. Okay, shoulders, let's see. Which one is better? Maybe looks weird. Navigator looks kind of weird. I don't know. Because it's not color customizable, it's better if you have everything that's color custom, right? Yeah, man, uh, you really have to go for the color custom look. Navigator. Navigator legs could fit well here, I guess, but <laughs> everything has to be Marauder, man. Everything has to be Marauder. God damn, this looks amazing guys. Freaking amazing dude. Oh man, I love this. Okay, so let's go over to the Falcon Reach uh, green screen and let's check it out. Here. See if any of these skills are changed. Uh, hold up. What was it that I wanted to do? Oh yeah, turn off this music for this. Because I keep getting copyright striked for the stupid in uh, for the stupid green screen music. I don't know why that is the case. So let's check it out in all its glory over here first. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh man, this amazing. Uh. The staff have really outdone themselves. Okay, so let's hit it. Uh, let's see. Enemy not visible. We don't need to see that enemy on the right. Give him 100k. 
and we will let's see we'll hide the damage numbers as well can really see the artwork okay let's do zoomed in not forgetting anything right okay let's view on this looks better sea legs okay looks the same trick yep looks the same as well quick shot oh the pistol is red too nice locker okay so this is the same Oh, you get a red parrot instead. Wait, hold on. No, no, no. Sorry. I apologize for that. The parrot is the same color. Yeah, it's always been red. It's been a while since I last used pirate class. Yep. <coughs> okay, animations all look the same so far. Backstab. Blank. Yeah, it's been a while since I last used pirate animation, but I think they all look the same, right? The parrot, I can't place my hand on it. Yeah, I think it's the same parrot. Yeah, it's the same parrot. Yeah, the pistol is different, which is nice. Lock. Okay. Fire the broadsides. Ooh! Cannon is red as well, that's nice. So I suppose it's color custom with your trim. Turn that MP potion. Okay, so yeah, that is how New Marauder looks. Very, very nice. No change in skill so far. I think Navigator Arm probably looks the same. If they didn't do it for Marauder, I don't think they'll do anything special for Navigator. Probably just the color difference. But uh, for the sake of the video, we'll go ahead and check out Navigator as well. So let's go to house. Let's see what the cannon and all that looks like. Okay, so you guys have an idea. All right, I do want to showcase every single thing inside of the video. My favorite uh, still definitely has to be Marauder. Hands down, there is absolutely no competition about that whatsoever so yeah marauder for the win but of course it is 500 dc so i understand it's not for everything for not for everyone considering this is just a purely cosmetic item only so do keep that in mind All right so let's continue going here now don't get me wrong i still like the navigator but uh again i think if it's color custom it will look a lot nicer okay so we'll do enemy invisible 100k let's go Yep, it looks the same, I think. I think maybe the only thing that's different is the pistol and probably the cannon, but we'll check everything just to be sure. Okay, same. Yep, same. Same, uh, Fury. Plank, Avast. Yeah, you guys are probably wondering... Oh, okay, the pistol. I think the pistol is the original one, right? I, I can't really be sure, but yeah. Okay. You guys might be wondering why I'm not using the new hotkeys. I'm not used to it. I'm just more used to using the mouse. I think I'm more comfortable with using the mouse. Use whichever one you like, guys. Don't be pressured to use the new uh, release things just because it's new. Like, if you guys prefer us using the mouse like me, then, you know, stick with using your mouse. Whatever is best for you, right? Okay, so this one, the cannon is the same. Yeah, okay. If you ask me personally, I like the... I prefer the design of the old cannon with that dragon there. I think that's really cool. Uh, the Marauder doesn't have the dragon. I wish it would keep the dragon, but uh, make it color custom. That would be nice, in my opinion. Right, I still prefer the older cannon design, but in terms of colors, obviously I prefer to have my own color custom uh, cannon or items or whatever skills that is. Right, so yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this week's video, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Carbine Gaming. Peace out.